my name is Jordy Brown. My name is Maria Campbell. I am Julian Kitson. Uh, my name is Lucas Popwich. My name is Karen Lazat. Adam LeBlanc. Andrew Murray. Uh, my name is Adrian Zell. Celia Keown. I'm the director. I'm the choreographer. In Stan Rogers, A Matter of Heart. I play guitar, dancer, step dancing, flute, drums. I play piano, bass, fiddle player, accordion, e fiddle, boron, drums, step dancing. Primarily playing the guitar. And mandolin. We had incredible feedback from audiences in Prince Edward Island last year, uh, but it is so exciting to, um, you know, kind of doing this show in the heart of Stan country. You can't go to any bar on any given night in downtown Halifax without hearing Barrett's Privateers. Nova Scotians love Stan. And, you know, it's in our blood, um, but it's because Stan loved the East Coast and he loved Nova Scotia. Well, my mom is from Nova Scotia and her and all of her sisters, their entire family, uh, the most of her family lives here. So we would come and visit every second summer and I remember my mom and all of her sisters getting together and singing Barrett's Privateers and Northwest Passage. I love drinking to Stan Rogers songs. It just got me so fired up. It just, uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun and then it's incredibly beautiful. There is a juxtaposition between this tender, gentle, incredible music uh, and that fiery, stompy foolishness that we get into at the same time. There's actually a chair dance, which is a style of, uh, more of an Acadian style of step dancing where we're all dancing in chairs, which is very fun. We're always interacting and supporting each other and playing off of each other and, you know, laughing at each other if, if something happens to go wrong and cheering, cheering that person on if, you know, oh, they did a really, really cool step dance move tonight. And that has been the biggest takeaway for audience members that I've really enjoyed hearing is you all get along so well. You all hold your own. You know, you couldn't sacrifice any one of the nine performers on stage. Stan tells so many stories in every single song, and there's more than 25 songs. The Genie Sea, I sing the song Tiny Fish for Japan. I sing a little bit of Northwest Passage. He was a favorite of mine growing up, actually. My dad was really into him, and he had a couple of records on vinyl. He had a big orange Fogarty's Cove uh, record. That can be a little bit daunting, I mean, with any of this music, but, you know, to make sure that you're paying your respects to, to somebody who is such an incredible artist, but also who is so highly regarded by such a large fan base, especially here in Nova Scotia. Yeah, there is a sense of duty to do a good job as a fan of the music anyway. This incredible music and this incredible text and storytelling. I love the energy that this particular version of the show brings to stand music. It's amazing to be in a cast with other people that love music. Keeping up with all that amazing talent that's just bouncing around the room and that creative energy, it's, as I said, it's an embarrassment of wealth, but it's definitely been an amazing, amazing experience. Just so much talent brought to the table, vocally and instrumentally. People are just blown away, and they, you know, they, they can hardly pick a favorite performer in this show. I'm very excited. It feels great. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so lucky that I got to be a part of this show. When we sing the Mary Ellen Carter at the end of every night, and the crowd is just, they can't contain themselves. They are just over the moon, and it's just an instant standing ovation. Just the amount of energy that the show takes for us to put on, the audience gives it all back in that moment at the end of our final number. And it's just the best feeling in the world.